This is the seventh video on differentiation where we're going to have a look at increasing and decreasing functions. So I've just drawn a random function there um, and if we are looking at this first part of the function then we can see that the, the line is increasing up to this turning point. Um, I'm going to redefine that um, in the next video. From GCSE you will have known that as a turning point, but I'll talk more about that in the next video. So every point on this line has a positive gradient because it's increasing. So we can say that when a function is increasing, its gradient is positive. When the function is decreasing in this next region, the gradient is negative because the line is going down. And then in this next region, the gradient will be positive again because the, the graph is increasing. So when we have the gradient, dy by dx, when that is positive, that is called, a, uh, when the function is increasing, it's called an increasing function. And when the function is decreasing, that's when the gradient is less than zero. So let's have a look at a couple of examples. Uh, this question says, show that the function x cubed plus 24x plus 3, show that it is an increasing function. So if it's an increasing function, that means it's always going to be going up. Its gradient will always be positive if it's always an increasing function. So therefore, what I'm trying to do is to show that the gradient here will always be positive. So let's differentiate this, first of all. So I'll get 3x squared plus 24. Okay, so this is my gradient function. Now, x squared, this is always going to be positive. So multiplying that by 3, that's always going to be positive. Add in the 24, that will always be positive. So this 3x squared plus 24 is always positive. Therefore, dy by dx is always positive and it is an increasing function. So it doesn't matter what value of x I substitute in here. Um, this will always give me a positive value. Very simple to show that this one was always positive. Um, if you get a slightly more complicated uh, equation, just complete the square. That's how you're going to find out. Uh, that's how you're going to prove that something's always going to be positive. So just complete the square on it. Um, just to prove that, I've sketched it out. So this is the curve of x cubed plus 24x plus 3 and you can see that it is always a positive, uh, it's always an increasing function. Second example, we want to find the values of x which the function x cubed plus 3x squared minus 9x is a decreasing function. So I, um, it's not always a decreasing function as in uh, like in the previous example it's not always that case. I just need to find the values of x when it is the decreasing function. So when is the gradient less than zero? So let's differentiate this. And we get that. So this is our gradient function. And when is that going to be less than zero? So we have a quadratic inequality. Uh, I'm going to divide through by 3 just to make it a little bit simpler for myself. And now let's solve this so we will have critical points at uh, minus 3 and plus 1. There we go, and I can see that the gradient function will be negative 
in between the values of minus 3 and plus 1. So in between these, in between these values, my gradient function here, which I've sketched here, will be negative. And so f of x is a decreasing value, a de decreasing function in between minus 3 and 1. Just to prove that, again, I have sketched out the original equation. So this blue line is the curve x cubed plus 3x squared minus 9x. And you can see that in between the values of minus 3 and plus 1, we can see that it is a decreasing function in between those values. So that's